Hello judges of Tan Ka Ki. My name is Fu Sheng and I am the representative of Social Distancing Alert System Project. Let's take a look at the background and problem statement. On the left image, we can see a crowded hawker centre with only one social distancing ambassador patrolling the area. On the right image, we can see a news article with an interview with Ministry of Environment and Water Resources that ambassadors will be in demand after Singapore's circuit breaker period ends and about 3,000 ambassadors are deployed daily. The problem is that we have a lack of manpower to regulate social distancing at hawker centres island-wide despite attractive salary of 2,500 by National Environment Agency. Proposed system. Our proposed system uses cameras with AIH device. Alternatively, existing CCTV cameras which are installed at stores or food courts are also compatible with our AIH device. Then we can commence detection of human position using artificial intelligence where we will do homography transform to convert human position into map viewpoints and do distance measurement of less than or greater than 1 meter. With the distance measurement, we can then implement a distance time color code alert zone, which will make use of the distance and duration that is spent between two people to label them in colors, either green, amber or red. Then the alert and announce reminder can be displayed on a web page on the mobile phone. Deployment of system. The three images above show people labeled as green, amber and red based on the color alert zone which is a function of distance and time. With reference to the graph below, the amber zone starts at 3 seconds T1 and ends at 8 seconds T2. If anyone does not obey to social distancing for an extended duration, the zone will change from green to amber and then finally red. This helps to reduce the number of alarms as there are many cases of violations due to transients, for example, passerby. Now, let's watch a video of our system being deployed. As mentioned above in the graph, it will take 3 seconds to enter amber zone and 8 seconds to enter red zone. In the image on the right, we can see a floor plan which has homography transformed applied to it. Therefore, we are able to view the human position from camera footage and put it on the floor plan as a map view. This floor plan can be applied to hawker centers where people position can be monitored on the floor plan itself. The technology used is a Jetson Edge device, a web server to host the website and put our live streams into the website, image processing homography algorithm, and time distance color zone algorithm. Let's hear feedback from our users. In this video, I conducted an interview with Nanyang Polytechnic Kofu Food Court Manager. Here is what he has to say. Here is an interview with a social distancing ambassador under Nanyang Polytechnic Estate Management. Here is what he has to say. I think it's a quite useful, I mean, for the estate, but I'm, I'm, I'm not very sure whether we need to check with our estate management, you know, whether they are allowed or they are okay, you know, with all STA, you know. Here is how our web page functions. We have a menu where ambassadors can select the location of where they are deployed and 
they can also select the area to monitor. Once the area has been selected, it will display the stream video footage captured on camera by our device. Now, let's watch a video on our web page demonstration. First, we enter the URL and then we select the location and area. Once we have done that, we can now view our live stream. Business Analysis The hardware cost of our product is around $300 to $500. The cost of our system is not finalized yet as there are many factors in a company which can affect this cost. The ambassador salary is up to $2,500 by NEA. Let's take a look at the number of retail stores or food stores available island-wide in Singapore. With 171 shopping malls, there are 4,600 restaurants, 720 coffee shops, 555 supermarkets, 114 wet markets and hawker centers, and 90 food fair and kopitiam food courts. Therefore, the total number of restaurants, coffee shops, supermarkets, wet markets, and food courts are 6,000. And 79. On the right table, we can see the estimated number of ambassadors per store. The available number is 3 to 5, and what we need is 10 to 20. So this is around 3 to 5 times of manpower that is needed. Therefore, calculating the total number of available ambassadors island-wide deployed to restaurants, 30,000. That is a huge number of manpower which we do not have. Now, let's take a look at the various scenarios that can take place in the daily lives of an ambassador. Taking a look at scenario 1 in a food court, without our system, the ambassador in blue is only able to manage one area with people. This is because he does not have the ability to cover more areas as he does not have enough visibility to be able to screen those areas. However, with the help of our system where it uses existing cameras or cameras from our device, the ambassador is able to screen and cover more areas. Taking a look at scenario 2 at a shopping mall floor, without our system, the ambassador can only cover a specific area in that direction. There are many blind spots in the shopping mall where he is not able to cover. However, with our system, the ambassador is able to cover more areas and have extended visibility. In continuation of scenario 2, we have a shopping mall floor directory of Vivo City Level 1. We can have cameras outside various FMB outlets to monitor queues. We can see that each camera is represented by one area. With reference to the color alert zone and the time taken to change from one zone to another, we can see that there are many people queuing around the FMB outlets around the entire shopping mall floor. Those who are highlighted in amber and red have most likely violated the social distancing rule. With our system, the ambassador is able to cover more areas with the improved visibility. Even though the ambassador is in area 3, he can view the different areas on his mobile phone. He can also take a look at area 7 and notice that these two people queuing outside are labeled as red. Ensure social distancing by approaching these two people and advise them to adhere to the social distancing rule. Now let's take a look at scenario 3 in a retail store of how our system can benefit retail owners. Without our system, the retail owner or staff who is alone at the cashier area would have to manage social distancing in entire store. However, it is not possible as there are blind spots in the store. With our system where it uses existing cameras or cameras from our system, the retail owner or staff can have extended visibility 
and detection, as well as screen for violations through the use of mobile phone. Our system can not only benefit social distancing ambassadors, but also retail owners by extending their visibility, enhancing and assisting in detection, and lastly, screen for violations. With that, I have come to the end of my presentation. I would like to thank all judges of Tan Ka Kee and board members in taking your precious time to watch this presentation. Thank you.